Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be rating all the maps in MVS. But before we jump right into it, I have an announcement to make. Basically school is starting very soon for me, it starts this week. So unfortunately I may not be able to upload as frequently anymore because I want to focus on my studies. Video editing takes a very long time, and I'm afraid that it'll affect my grades at school. But don't worry I'll still try my best to upload at least one video a week. It's just that I'll be posting more pre-recorded gameplay videos instead of skits. That's all I have to say, I'm so sorry to those who look forward to seeing more skits or more entertaining content. Anyways let's start with today's main content, rating every map in MVS. Map number 1. Sprawl. Ratings. It's a great map and it's honestly playable for both teams, murderers tend to be able to camp more and usually get more kills. But if you're in a server full of decent sheriffs it's not hard to camp them back. The map looks nice visually but it gets easily outshined by other maps like Neon City or Dojo in my opinion. Map number 2. Castle. Ratings. Castle is honestly one of the worst maps I've played on, I would immediately leave if it gets chosen. It's boring and horrendous to play in even as a sheriff. This map needs to be removed because 90% of MVS players hate it. It's possible to camp in this map as a murderer, but most of the time it flops. Map number 3 Penthouse. Ratings. Penthouse is one of the best maps in the game, period. It's actually very balanced even though you might think it's a murderer-biased map. It's great for both teams and nothing about it needs to be changed. Some sheriffs complain about this map but it's mostly because of their skill issue, or if there are too many good players on murderer's team. I've played on this map many times as a sheriff, and did well and I've also seen many others do the same. Nice. Map number 4. Capital. Ratings. Capital is not a bad map, it's just pretty boring to play on because it's really big and you have to run around a lot. Sheriffs do really well in this map, it's possible for murderers to do well too but I feel like most of the time they're just waiting upstairs for sheriffs to come up instead of trying to attack their base. I do join servers where murderers dominate sheriffs in capital, but it's pretty rare haha. Map number 5. Space Station. Oh Ratings. Another amazing map, great for both teams, very balanced, gorgeous too. Things can never go wrong in Space Station, I think it's one of my favorite maps. I have nothing bad to say about this map, everything about it is perfect and nothing should be changed. Map number 6. Smog. Ratings. This map is kinda mid to be honest, even though the bases are spacious and fair. The map looks dull and reminds me of industrial areas in the Soviet Union, it just feels sad. It's great for farming kills as a murderer though, but as a sheriff on this map it's just pain. Map number 7. Neon City. Ratings. Okay I personally haven't seriously played in this new Neon City, so I can't say much about it. I played on Sheriff's team for a few minutes and I'm quite worried that it might be a new biased map towards Sheriff's since I realized they have three different spawns, not two. So in order to make this rating more accurate, I interviewed Mr. TCG. Guys he's one of the best iPad player I know, so go subscribe to him right now because he's the GOAT. Anyways let me show you what he said. What do you think of the new Neon City map? Have you played on it yet? Yeah I played it. Sheriffs kept hiding up there. It sucks. Oh really? Damn. So how would you rate it for murderers? Out of 10, for sheriffs 2, out of 10, and the overall fairness, out of 10. 5 tenths for murderers, 3 tenths for sheriffs, and 3 tenths for overall fairness. <laughs> Map number 8. Museum. Rating. I think by now you all can tell that Museum is my least favorite map. I don't even know what to say about it. It's dull, it's sad, it's huge for no good reason and it doesn't even look like a museum. 
I feel like I'm playing inside a cardboard box whenever this shows up. This map is a huge no for me. I would always leave whenever it gets chosen. This map should be removed. Period. Map number 9. Dojo. Ratings. You guys, Dojo is an underrated map. Bro, I don't even know why people hate it. This map rarely gets chosen and I'm so sad. This map is literally very balanced compared to other maps like Smog, Harbor, or Castle. You guys definitely need to give Dojo a chance. It's a fantastic map. Its visuals are top tier too. Map number 10. Atrium. Ratings. Atrium was one of my favorite maps back in 2022 and 2023. But now I don't really like it as much anymore since it's pretty hard for me to get kills in nowadays. Atrium looks very pretty though. I also really like the fact that the bases are interconnected. Honestly, I feel like this map is pretty fair for both teams. They both got equal opportunity to dominate the opposing team. This is also a map you can get over a 100 kills in. Map number 11. Harbor. Ratings. Harbor is probably the most ridiculous map for murderers to play in. The sheriffs basically camp the life out of the murderers there, an easy map for them to get more than 80 kills around, or even 100 and above. This map can be good for murderers as well, but the entire murderers team has to be decent in order for that to happen. I don't dislike this map to the point where I think it should be removed, but Harbor definitely needs a rework to balance the fairness. Map number 12. Farm. Ratings. Farm is another ridiculous map to play in, I don't like it and I never will. If you join MVS as a murderer and the map is this, there's a 90% chance you're cooked. This map is atrocious, it's very chaotic and there would be sheriffs scattered around everywhere and anywhere. Farm is a map I would leave immediately once encountered, I think I only seriously played on it 3 times max. Similar to Harbor, it's possible to dominate and spawn camp the sheriff's team as a murderer, but that is provided that there are a few good murderers on your team, otherwise forget about it. This is another map that sheriffs can get over 100 kills in, but it's still terrible for me, even if I'm on the sheriff's team. Map number 13. Tundra. Ratings. I forgot about this map honestly, because it rarely shows up in game. I think this map is pretty fair, but an issue is I see many murderers throwing through the glass walls. Also, if you have the lightning knife, it looks extremely pretty in this map, I love it. My eyesight isn't very good and I'm usually very blind when playing MVS. So this map is a little too dark for me, but this can be solved by turning up device's brightness. Map number 14. Temple. <laughs> Ratings. <laughs> Temple is another one of my favorite maps, I just love it so much. It's one of the best maps for murderers, even sheriffs. If you're a sheriff you might get spawn camped by murderers but it's honestly not hard to combat them if you're decent. You can also camp the murderers back from outside and sneak attack those camping at level 2 from downstairs. Temple is perfect in every way and nothing about it should be changed. Map number 15. Station. Ratings. I love Station, it's easily one of my top 3 maps. If you're playing as a sheriff you're probably going to get spawn camped. But if there's one or two level 100 people on the sheriff team and none on the murderers, you can easily cook them all. Station is definitely biased towards murderers, but it's not hard to attack them back unlike in old Neon City. The latter ring pick said there is pretty unnecessary though because there's a high chance sheriffs can't climb up there without dying. Map number 16. The original. Ratings. This map is just bad, I don't like it. Usually sheriffs are the ones dominating this map and it's hard for murderers to attack back. It looks nice though, but it isn't really the best map to grind in. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the removed maps from MVS, first starting from Market. Market is such a good map I don't even know why they removed it. There's nothing wrong with it also it's a fair and balanced map. I enjoyed playing in this map a lot and I miss it so much. This is definitely a map that I want back. 
The next map I want to talk about is Subsurface. I get so mad when I talk about this map like why did Rinkus remove it? Pro Subsurface is literally one of the fairest maps in the entire game where both teams can do really well in. Just look at my score, 49 kills 3 deaths on Sheriff's team. I'm pretty sure you can get even more too, like over 70 kills. And on Murderer's team 102 kills 17 deaths. This just shows that Subsurface is a good map. I'm so upset they removed it, they should remove maps like Museum Castle and the original instead. Can we all just do a mass protest so that we can get these two maps back? I know there's other removed maps like Town but I personally never got the chance to play on it. So Space Station Legacy is the last map I'll be talking about. I'm honestly not sad that this map is removed, because I feel like the current Space Station is fine. Now that I've finished rating the maps, it's time to rank them. In my opinion, the top three most visually appealing maps are Station, Dojo, and the number one goes to Neon City. Now for my top three favorite maps. Penthouse, Temple, and my number one goes to Station. Wow, beautiful. Also huge honorable mention to Space Station, I was having such a hard time deciding. Now for the top three worst maps. Castle, Farm, and obviously the worst map goes to Museum. So yeah, these are all my ratings. If you've watched till here, comment down your favorite map and least favorite map below. Also, these ratings are solely based on my personal opinion so please do not send any hate. Anyways that's all for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video hee hee. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all soon.